Okay, uh, if you can hear me online, let me know. And then I hopefully have a mic today. Is this working? Can you hear me at the back a bit better than yesterday? No? Hello? What about now? How do I get that so close? I don't know what to do there. Volume? Hello? Is that better? Okay, I'll try to speak up and... Oh, the camera. Yeah, good. Um, there's like 80 things to set up, as, <laughs> as you can see. So, bear with me a second. Um, okay. Oh, God, that's so annoying. Okay. All right, I think we're there. Okay. <laughs> All right, welcome back to lecture two. Um, we'll just get straight into it, basically. Uh, hopefully this stream's okay. Yeah, it's lagging a bit, I think, but do our best. Um, yeah, so thank you for coming yesterday, for those who came, and for those who are joining us for the first time in person today, welcome. And for those of you online, welcome as well. I'm hoping the lag's not too bad, but it looks like it might be a bit. Um, we're going to just get straight into it, into, into content. Uh, were there any questions from yesterday's lecture or perhaps if you've had your first Tute Lab that's worth sort of discussing out in the open? It went okay? A lot of new content, a lot of new stuff to think about. Um, so uh, worth mentioning as well that um, these slides um, come from Hayden Smith who taught the course. So this, this uh, Comp 1531 was rewritten from scratch last term. And these are adaptations or sometimes just the, the lectures from last time. So I'm just crediting Hayden here um, for the, the bulk of these slides. OK, so yesterday, remember, we did that demo and we spoke a little bit, a little bit about Git, Git being the, the, the tool that most modern software projects use to um, source control our code. Um, and we did a very simple example where I created a uh, I'd created basically a Git repository, and that Git repository, I distributed it to two systems. What were the two systems that I distributed it to? Someone hand or you just yell it? Or online? Remember we said Git is this distributed version control system. I distributed it in two places. What were the two? Uh, the receiver and the Git server. Exactly. One copy, well, in fact, I made the repository on GitLab, right, which is a Git server running at CSC in K17, and then I cloned that down to my local machine. So I've distributed that repository or that project in two locations. Um, but there was only one person interacting with that project, and that was me. What we're going to talk about in this first part of the lecture is the real benefit of Git, which is multiple people accessing the one repository in multiple locations. Does that make sense? And that's what you're going to have to do in the group project, of course, because there's four or five of you in the group, and you have to access the same code base, and you'll be working on different parts of it at the same time. So how do we use Git to do that? That's what we're going to introduce today. And of course, in, in order to do these things, there's a few concepts that get introduced. So 
Specifically, today we'll cover um, branching, merging, and merge requests. Who's done Git stuff before, probably using GitHub? A few of you. So in GitHub, you would call this a pull request. Um, GitLab uses the term merge request. I actually think the term merge request makes a bit more sense, but Git, GitHub is more popular for the terminology. So yeah, basically for this part of the lecture, we're just gonna do a, a demo really, which is nice and uh, fun. I actually think for this demo, you should, if you've got a laptop, um, try and perhaps like do it with me um, because it's something that you can sort of do and I'll try and keep that in, in, um, with the pace. But remember, you can always go and watch the video later to follow along if perhaps you get lost or you haven't set something up or something like that. Is the mic still okay at the back? Yeah, good. Okay. Um, if you are so minded that um, you don't really like this format and a written guide that you can just scroll through at your own pace is better, Atlassian has got a guide on how to use Git. You can just Google Atlassian Git guide um, later. Don't do it now. That would be rude. Or you can... Uh, we need to start thinking of our source code, right? When you, let's think back to intro programming or whatever your equivalent was. You have some code, maybe multiple files. You make changes to the code, yeah? And you've got a new version. And then you make more changes and you've got a new version. It's linear, right? You can think of the evolution over time as tracking but it's, it's a, a completely linear evolution. You can maybe go back and then make more changes and go forward. Um, branching 